Hi there, welcome back to DMK Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around this extraordinary Kia e Nero. It's the 4 plus 60 watt kilowatt hour model and it's a fantastic car that we've had bought in. Brilliant car. I'm going to show you around it, show you some of the features. As you can see we've got this lovely steel looking grey. I'm not too sure of the colour name but it is a fantastic colour this. Great looking with these very nice aerodynamic alloys. These are 17 inch alloys, all in perfect condition and they help reduce drag as you're driving. Plenty of drag left on the tyres. You see we've got nice chrome decals around the top of the windows and on the lowers of the doors. Chrome door handles with keyless entry on the driver and passenger front passenger door. Tinted rear glass. As we move around to the back you can see Eco Electric and the green tick on the uh, licence plate shows it is a full electric model. Foxtrot Victor 22 Juliet Foxtrot X-Ray is the registration and if I show you in the boot you'll find a generous boot in here with a parcel shelf to hide your contents normally. Got the charging cable here, this nice Nero specific tray and underneath there extra storage bits there as well. Very very handy. You can obviously lower the seats in a 60-40 folding style. Very nice. This car was registered on the 29th of April 2022, so as of right now, today's the 24th, so it's not even a year old yet, so you still get over six years left of that famous Kia warranty. And as you step inside, you'll find lovely black leather with fantastically tidy carpets back here. It's barely been used. You'll find that we have the cup holders in the center, ice fix points on the left and right hand side. There is even heated seats for the rear left and right passengers. Very, very nice netting in the front to have extra storage there. As we move around to the front, you can see we've got a sunroof there that opens. I'll show you that inside. We've got the nice roof bars. Then up front, we have the charging port. Simply press this in to access the charging port there. Nice and easy and simple. Close again. Nice blue patterns everywhere to indicate this is an electric eco mode vehicle and just up front very nice looking as well then as we step inside there is a lot of gadgetry going on here i'm going to go through everything now as you can see we've only got 5449 miles on the clock so that's very low because it's only a year old we have cruise control dynamic cruise control so it adapts to the car in front on here with lane assist drive modes there as well uh, we have volume controls muting call and answer and decline cycle through radio or media stations. Uh, there's also voice control there, as mentioned. These control the recuperative braking, so how much engine braking you want. You've got automatic lights on there with front and rear fogs. You've got automatic wipers on this side with a rear wiper. On here, all electric windows with mirror adjustment, including electronic folding. Down here, there is an electronic passenger seat with memory functions for two there. We've got blind spot monitoring on here, lane assist there. Uh, sports charging and lots of extra buttons there. On the screen we have navigation as you can expect, very large and generous screen, blends in very nicely with the dashboard. There's also radio and media set up there so you have uh, Android, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay there as well. If you put the car in reverse you have a reverse camera and all-around parking sensor as well for that added bit of easy using. You can hear a slight bonging there when the car is in reverse just to help Passers and surrounding people know that you are there. Then moving down, we've got air conditioning unit, nice and easy. You can have it on drivers only, fan speed, um, electronic. Oh, sorry, it's still bonging. There we go. Climate control there for temperatures, heat, cooling, electronic uh, EV mode, so for the most efficient way. Under here, you've got wireless charging there with extra slots for a USB and a 12 volt charger socket and another USB port there. Extra storage beneath here because obviously there's no transmission tunnel, so a nice bit of area there. There are heated and cooled front passenger seats, which is very nice to have. So, just like that. Or if you want them hot, turn off as so. Auto hold, electronic handbrake, simple twist into which direction you want to go, park as such. Parking sensors control there, drive modes there, as you can see, which have sport, eco, and normal. There we are, and then obviously heated steering wheel as well, which is very good in this, given that it's a nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Under here, you've got a deep pocket with cup holders that you can just have as a large storage space. You push this button and a cup holder materializes, I guess. Under here, you've got another charging port here for USB, extra storage there under the armrest. And of course, in here, the glove box is all the owner's information uh, regarding, not the owner's information, sorry, the car's information with servicing and things like that. 
Then up here, we press this little button there and it slides the roof back electrically. Obviously you've got this full cover that is manually operated and you can slide it closed as well and just have this glass section open for nice lighting in here. All in all, this is just a great car. It really is well equipped and you get a lot of stuff on it. As you can see the range now is 189 miles. That's in sport mode. If we drop, swap it into eco, and we can adjust the um, uh, amount of energy rebraking that you'd like. You can see it goes up there. So just a great car, two keys with it as well. Fantastic. If you are interested in it, please do feel free to visit us at Denbydale Road, Wakefield, WF27AW. Or alternatively, give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time, and as always, you take care now.